welcome to my channel. This is a general reading for the sign of Gemini. My readings are timeless, so when you see them is when you're meant to hear them. I want to thank everyone for the love and support that they have given me towards my channel. And for my new subscribers, welcome. If this reading resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Remember to click the bell so to get alerts when videos are posted. So first, I would like to invite the Holy Spirit into my area to give this reading light and love. Next, I would like to bring the singing bowl just to give this reading positive energy, positive vibes. Okay, Gemini. What is going on today, Gemini? Gemini, how are you guys feeling? Have you done your self-check-in today? Have you asked yourself, how are you feeling, Gemini? Gemini, you have a couple huge decisions coming up soon. You have the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is about security, Gemini. Achieving your goals and reaping the rewards of your goals. So you could be about to purchase a house purchase a car just make a big purchase but it's because you've been working hard you've been saving and that's how you're able to afford that so you're achieving some of your goals gemini right now gemini now is a big time for you right now because it's like you're going through a couple of transitions you're learning new things about yourself you're finding out that sometimes the rational world Mm, cannot or is not so rational there's things that have been happening Gemini and you're seriously trying to figure this out you are trying to figure out what is up and while you're working on that trying to figure out what's up that is you're living everyday life you're going to work you're going to school, you're in relationships, you're dealing with your family, you're just trying to be successful in life, going through the motions. And just lately, there are some things you just cannot shake. You do not understand what is happening. What is happening with Gemini? Why am I feeling the way I'm feeling? Why am I feeling the way that I'm feeling? And I'm feeling it more now than I've ever felt it. Like, it was there before, but for some reason right now, I'm just not being able to shake certain things. Certain things are sticking in my mind way longer than they used to. I am starting to dwell on things or just starting to ponder on things a little longer than it used to take me before. Gemini, being responsible there's a lot of pressure, in case you didn't know. And Gemini, you put a lot of pressure on yourself. People put a lot of pressure on you, shit. You are probably like the counselor, go-to person for a lot of people. And that's gotta be hard, Gemini, because who is the counselor go-to person for you when you don't trust anybody with your 
deepest, innermost thoughts. I mean, you have conversations. You're very relatable. People love talking to you. But I didn't say people love talking to you. I said you talking to people. You love, you'll communicate, but you don't like giving people your business, Gemini. Your business is just that, your business. And Gemini, that's like a lot of communication. You got a lot of things you want to get off your chest, but you don't know who to give these things to. I mean, it's just like a lot, Gemini. Who can I give these things to? Who can I trust with my stuff when... Who can I trust with my shit when I'm ready to vent? And right now, Gemini, you don't feel like it's anybody. So you've been staying to yourself probably more than normal. Just trying to figure things out. Trying to work these new thoughts through in your head. These new thoughts, you're not sure what to do with, or just, or the new emotions, you're not sure what to do with. So you're just trying to figure them out, and you're just trying to make sure you know that you're not overreacting, that's all, and you're not. Gemini, the star is like vision. You're starting to see things for what they are. Um, hope, guidance, seeking a direction. It's like the embodiment of hope and healing. Do what you can to restore your mind, your emotions, and your spirit. And remember that the universe is working in your favor. So right now you're praying about some things. You've been talking to God about some things. You've been talking to the universe about some things. And right now things are working out in your favor. This whole reaping the rewards and the security that you're looking for, you're on the right path, you're on the right journey. You have favor right now. The King of Cups is like you think before you speak. Um, you're very intuitive. You're smart. You, But you already know that, Gemini. You make very good decisions. So you're just trying to figure out some things. You're trying to put some things into perspective. Because as of now, there's a lot of things, like I said, that's happening. Certain things are starting to mix and shift in your mind. And you're trying to figure them out. And you don't really have a person to go to and talk to about it. So it's starting to get like a little crazy for you just in your thoughts. So you're trying to get clear about it. And that's what the Ace of Swords is about. The Ace of Swords is about like clarity, um, making new plans, new beginnings, new breakthroughs, new victories, um, new successes. Like Jim and I just continue to move forward and progress to your next situation, to your destiny. You're on the right path. Just remember that. The Two of Cups is about love, friendship, soulmates, soul connections, building with others, starting new beginnings, new chapters, new things. Jim and I, somebody seems like they want to get married. Or they want to get involved in a relationship, but they're not sure. So, you're probably having a lot of thoughts about that right now, Gemini. You have, like, several different thoughts. It's like your work because you're trying to build. Somebody's trying to establish a business. Somebody's trying to advance. Somebody's trying to further their education. People are just trying to become entrepreneurs and just build their life. So that includes like all the things that you want out of life, like just the loving part, the love, the love part, the part that brings people together, the part that makes you feel, you know, safe, secure, that type of thing. So Gemini, you want to experience the security, but it's hard for you to trust anybody that they're going to commit the way you're going to commit. But Gemini, sometimes you're not even sure if you can commit, though. You're even worried yourself. I mean, you know you want to commit. That's not the thing. You know you want to commit. 
but you're trying to figure out if you can even you want to do all the right things you want the love you want the family you want the security you want the stability you want everything that that comes with gemini but you're not even sure if you can do it so you're worried about whether or not the other person can do it but gemini you just have to trust that that it's everything will be good You're achieving your goals, Gemini. Have faith that you're on the right path. Have faith that things will be okay. Pray about it, give it to God. Walk away, let it go. It's like the thing when you you make good, very good intellectual decisions. You take time to think about things, Gemini. Sometimes you overthink, and that's the thing here. Don't get caught up in overthinking. Right now is the time to move forward, Gemini. November 23rd, there's supposed to be this thing called timeline mark timeline merging gemini it's supposed to be like a master reset being pushed on your life they call it the mandela effect you should look it up and it's like this thing where so it's saying like some people remember um nelson mandela died in a prison cell a long time ago and then like some many years later um, they announced that he's being released from prison and some people are like, hold on, how the hell is he being released from prison when we thought he died? So it's like that. It's called like, uh, it's like when the timeline we're in merges with another one and there leaves footprints. Anyway, long story short, you can look that part up. That's not the point. The point is this year is supposed to be a, another timeline merge. It's like where the universe pushes the reset button and now voila, you get a second chance at whatever it is destiny future you were technically supposed to be on that maybe you might have skipped a little bit okay so now's the time gemini to think very positive thoughts i don't know if you believe in that stuff or not but if you do either way even if you do or you don't either way you need to think positive so as of now all the things that you need to think about should be positive thoughts gemini be very careful and be very mindful, Gemini, of the thoughts that you're coming across. Because it seems like you're coming off very worried. You're very anxious. You're very, you're having nightmares about something. Something is on your mind, Gemini. But it's hard for you because, again, these things you're dealing with in private, you're not giving this to anybody. So maybe you might need to think about a counselor or something. And that might be hard, Gemini. Especially some of the brothers. Gemini's you guys might think that it's a little weird to go to counseling to talk about somebody um go to counseling to talk about something with somebody counseling is not a bad thing counseling is a good thing it lets you express your emotions to somebody that you're not even friends with and then you get to walk away like the way you would like it Gemini you would get to walk away and be as stern and as you know diplomatic as you like to be in front of your friends and family, co-workers, all those things, and they don't even have to know. But if not, you can continue to come here and I'll continue to be very helpful to you. And you can talk to me if you like. I don't know you. We can communicate. Um, either way, Gemini, you're worried. There are some things that you're dealing with that are happening that you're not fully sure of what to do. It's a little iffy. So, the Wheel of Fortune, Gemini. The Wheel of Fortune are like cycles, habits, patterns, ups and downs, um, constantly revolving, Gemini. Um, sometimes you'll be at the top, sometimes you'll be at the bottom. But it's just the card to remind you that nothing is permanent, good or bad, and you just cherish the, les the lessons um, 
that the moment is bringing you. So like whatever lesson or whatever is happening right now, there's a silver lining in that situation and you need to find it. That's what will help you through and continue to keep moving forward onto your next phases, onto your next cycles. You can't control what the will presents, like where you end up at the time, you're just going through the cycles. You can control your response to it though, Gemini. So no matter what life brings to you, you are, res you are responsible for the way you react to things. That's technically what that's saying. So right now you're reacting by worrying and having nightmares and just, so maybe you do need someone to speak to. Or maybe you should just open up to the person that you're with, Gemini. Maybe you should just trust them. That could be the thing. There's a solution to a sticky problem. You can communicate with the person. Which, this is funny because, Gemini, you're normally the one who is in a leadership position. You're the, normally the one that is I'm the boss I'm the one well not really like the boss but you're the person that people go to so you're normally the teacher you're normally the one that puts things together for people and now Gemini it seems like you need you're looking for something so counselor again Gemini if you're questioning and you're wanting to know if you should try counseling, you should. If you're questioning and wanting to know if you should talk to the person that you're trying to give your cup to or marry, you probably should. Gemini, allow somebody else to pour into you. Allow somebody else to give you and to feed into you, like spiritually, mentally, Allow them to be able to just engage with you. This card here is like also make sure your, your actions match your values and behaviors. Like walk your walk. So if you're telling people that they need to, because Gemini, you're a person that gives good advice. So you would be the one telling someone that they need professional advice or something or they need professional help to go to certain places but you're not taking the advice when it comes to you but you never ask for the advice that's the reason why because you don't want people to know these things about you so Gemini it's going to be kind of hard it's going to be kind of tricky maneuvering but there are cycles to life and this is just another cycle you'll figure it out anyway and then this will be something else that you can add on to your check mark like yes i completed that um i did that i moved forward i continue to you know keep progressing and in life and moving forward um It seems like somebody wants to start a business also. Like there's something with the business here. With the Ace of Swords. Yeah, there's some type of business coming. There's some type of business that someone is looking to develop. But they're kind of blocked in their head. Like there was an idea that you went to maybe your job or... Maybe you just thought about, you didn't tell anybody yet, but Gemini, there's an idea, a thought, uh, maybe you, you made something, I don't know, but you wanna start this thing and you're blocked. This is causing the block. But soon, your mind is just gonna be very clear. It's just going to open up and it's just going to, you'll just have the idea like that. Like, it'll just be like, so whatever cycle you're stuck in right now, Gemini is the thing that's blocking you. And it feels like to me, like you have to open up to somebody. 
you have to talk to somebody. You have to trust somebody enough to allow you to communicate, allow you to get it out. And then in the process of you speaking, whatever it is that you're speaking to this person, you'll finally realize what you are meant to do. So that's what this feels like to me. You got to open up, Gemini. You can still take your stern stance or your, you know, we don't, we, we won't tell anybody that you have feelings or emotions. We won't tell anybody. Um, but you kind of got to make sure you're okay. Get those out on the table so that way it doesn't cause any health problems. And Gemini, continue to work out. Those things keep your mind occupied. It helps you with the thinking process something um just doing stuff so maybe even a hobby it helps you you know put your focus elsewhere so those things are good for you but gemini you definitely need to find a person a confidant somebody to give or to just vent to everything not just the superficial top of the layer thing gemini you need those deepest darkest the things that you talk about with yourself when you go and you sit in that room and you're communicating you know just with yourself your inner being your spirituality trying to develop yourself you need to give that stuff to somebody else because you're very intelligent but intelligent people need help too gemini so that Gemini, this is your reading. If it resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Remember to click the bell so you get alerts when videos are posted.